Is that why you need someone to reassure you? I don't think I'm afraid. I talk about a lot of stuff on TikTok. Okay. Yeah. I've seen your TikTok, but I still feel like there's a lot that you want to say, but because the persona is out there. Mm -mm, I say anything. It's contradicting. No, I, I don't doubt that you say anything. <laughs> I mean, I say anything. I say anything. I just sometimes I just don't know what to say. Is I rather like somebody gotta ask me. I don't. Sometimes, like I do ask God. Sometimes God, what should I say to these people so they could use me? I be telling God, use me. Like let your light shine through me. Let me bless somebody through you. Mm -hmm. So it's, if I talk about it, it's because I want other people to know about God. But. Yeah, sometimes I just don't know what to say. Just, it's better if I have someone asking me. If somebody asks me like, hey, why did you do this? Then I can answer. Okay. Yeah. You believe God wants you to change? I'm good now. Okay. He wants me to be, I want God to help me be the woman of God he called me to be. What if you are already that? Yeah, I'm doing it right. Okay. Yeah. That's why I noticed too is sometimes the church, Justin Bieber went through it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go through, especially celebrities, in their journeys. And I noticed that it's like they come in and they try to brainwash. Mm -hmm. Who? People like yourself, like me. What, the church? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, I don't agree with that. You don't? No. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? I believe in the Bible. Okay. So anything the Bible says, I agree with it. Okay. Because mm -hmm. the, the Bible is God's word. Have you read the entire Bible yet? No, nah, not the entire Bible. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of strong contradictions in the Bible. I'm not here to challenge your faith. Like what? Your, your faith mm -hmm. is your spiritual relationship with God. A book is another thing. Mm -hmm. And being that you are so young and you have your entire life ahead of you, mm -hmm. I just hear you talk about God so much. Mm -hmm. It's coming across as if you are using it as a as protection. Nah. Me. There's a lot more to us than just a conversation about God, you know, because God, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, is the reason why you are who you are. Not the devil. I know. Yeah. He gave me life. God, not the devil. He gave you a mother. Yeah. He gave you a father. He gave you a personality. He gave you a character. Everything. And, and he gave us free will but we oh, have yeah. to know that that's internal. why he love us so much that's why he gave us free will because god is love he love us what if i told you you are god oh no nah, i'm not why i'm just not god why are you not god do you not think you're worthy oh i am worthy but i'm not god but what if i truly told you that there is research to back up that you are god i'm not god So you don't believe that you have the power to move your life the way that you want it moved? Yeah, you know? by following God, I do. But you move. But it. I'm not God because when we when we all die and he telling us, giving us judgment, I'm not God. I'm not about to judge you. I'm not God. I can't I don't judge. Can't I'm not the one that's gonna say, Yeah, come up here or go down there. I'm not God. So you believe in heaven and hell outside? I told you I believe everything that's in the Bible. Okay. But you also said you didn't read the Bible. I didn't read all of it, but okay. I, I study it. Wow. She stood on the... Yo, she what is her problem? She stood on business. She stood on business, Charlie. What is Tasha K's problem? What is she talking about? Remember she had that witch in there with her? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That, that's low hanging fruit, man. All this contradiction in the Bible. Folks just don't read the Bible in context. Like, yeah. That's all it is. That okay. So let's. Uh, all right. Tasha K. Okay. Unpack. She believes that we are gods. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. She believes. Maybe that's why she keep doing stuff without getting, <laughs> without getting suing people. Like people suing her all the time, and she, she don't care. She can do whatever she yeah, wants. Yeah. She got. Ah oh, man, I, I was when. First of all, I didn't know about the second half of that clip. Jeremiah had to tell me. I don't think you got the whole clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm glad you did, man. That second half was wild. Okay, so how would you respond? I thought she did very. I don't. Again, yeah. we know her as um, uh, ex relationship for for um, Holy okay. Gabbana. Holy so Gabbana. that's the only yeah, thing yeah, I know yeah. about her. Uh -huh. I don't. So I don't know anything about her life beyond this. Mm -hmm. She did very well. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. She did very well defending the faith. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, she did. I can't speak for nothing else she do. I don't know. 
Don't, only thing, don't hold only, me to this. Only I'm thing just saying, I, right I, there. I think people got to... I wish people had to understand how to... This is going to sound bad. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know... I was about to say monetize your conversion, but that's bad, right? No, 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 no. But what I'm saying yeah. is like going from city to city and telling people your story and them paying you kind of like like a talk tour, like you know how people yeah. how mm-hmm. do like a one man show, like uh-huh. on something like that about your faith and stuff like that. Because I, I believe um, um, Angela White could do that too, like you know Black China. Yeah, Black but China. but um, I the reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like. She was on. She she stood toe to toe. She didn't buckle like I I, mm-hmm. I I. She was there, but the only thing is, she was on like Bad Girls Club, mm-hmm. fighting people, mm-hmm. and yeah. you know what I mean. It's Your like, life is not matching up. Huh? Yeah, and I and I think and I and I think that's the thing about what we. I think the theme of the show is today about doing both things and being like I can do this and and I could be love God and yeah. all those other. The stuff. last thing I saw for her though, she was on Bad Girls Club. The reason why she got into the fight that I saw the last one. It's because she talked about God so much oh, like, that the other girls got irritated. <laughs> and they were like, oh, you think you better than us? You think you so old? <laughs> you so she stood us. up on top of a, some kind of plateau and was talking about Jesus, and another girl just rushed her. Oh, know, wow, so. them she, demons. Yeah. Wow. Dang, that's crazy. Okay. She's she been going hard. <clears throat> so, okay, so so this it sounds to me like a genuine expression from her that this is what she believes, so I don't know what else she does. How many people believe what Tasha K believes? Oh man, everybody, bro. Like I think the whole industry believes that. Um, and I think, I think as as days get wickeder and, and wicked, uh, I think we're gonna see the manifestation of that. Especially, and it's sad that it, I mean, I don't know to be racist, but it's sad that it, we're starting to see it more with us. Because back in the day, grandmama and I'm like, yo, that's the devil. Give the yeah, devil. Like we were talking about that earlier. Um, get away from that. But I think more and more, more. People of color are, are adopting that we're God's kind of mentality. And that's not even, and some of them ain't even 5%. <laughs> some right. of them are just, yeah. I'm God, you know what I mean? And believe that. But what's interesting, people like what saying what Tasha K just said will also call themselves Christians. That's mm, what's scary to man. me is that there's people who call themselves Christians that believe that. We're going to talk about another one later oh, on today. Wow. I don't know that, that they say that they believe in God, they believe in Jesus, they, whatever. But then they believe in new age stuff like that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. new age. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. that's the scary part. That's so you, what's starting so to creep you, into. So you the believe church. Jesus is God too, and you God? That's what the whole Kendrick thing is. Yep. Is you, you whatever Jesus had, you could have it too. He was yeah. just another one of you. Well, that's what Kevin Gates said last time we was in. Gates, Charlemagne the God. If, if yeah. we're children people, of God, and Jesus was His Son. That means he's our brother. Yeah. That means we're equal with him if he's our brother. We can Where is this theology coming That's from? That's what the Bible, I mean, the Bible does yeah. say that. I think it's, it's, an, it's an interpretation of that word because it say he was the first of first, first of many, many brothers. Yeah. First of many brothers. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to look at it that way, but you have to understand who Jesus is. Exactly. What, right. In the Old Testament, predicting who Jesus was going to be. Exactly. Right. So there is some thing to learn from that language. There, There is something to know that you are you are brother- um, to to Jesus in Christ, you know, in in spiritually, but it what they're saying diminishes Jesus down to just another Negro right. over there, <laughs> and that's what Islam tries to do. Islam tries yeah. to do, right. and it's like no, you something is wrong. You're not getting something. That right. If you yeah. think you just as God as this one, yeah, no, no, no. But I think I think going back to even what Kevin Gates said, like his his philosophy was. And I could tell he was tapping into New Ageism. He's tapping into yoga. He's tapping into these all these New Age practices yeah. that was like, like, because once you tap in, you tap in. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And I think people got to start thinking about spirituality. And we probably, it's, like I said, it's going to be a spiritual. So we're going to talk about that of spirituality and how um, dealing with New Ageism and then dealing with the gospel and what's the truth about both because I think in our culture now, especially in hip-hop, I'm starting to see people do ayahuasca or different yeah. things like that and those things really open you up to the spiritual world mm-hmm. and not the spiritual world that God has said to yeah. go to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So I think at the end of the day, we um, as believers got to know. You got to know stuff, man. It, yeah. it's, it's time out from being a blind believer right now because yeah. if not, you're going to be tricked by you're the enemy. Get picked off. Yeah. yeah. Intelligent yeah. race, man. Definitely. Yeah. And, and honestly, for people who are mature, you can't you can't let your guard down either because yeah. some stuff can come in and you accepting it and you not knowing like, yo, that's demonic. You know what I mean? Or that's, or that's, um, 
or that's the the devil. You know what I mean? Not well, the, the both are the same, but just that stuff is creeping in that is anti Bible. Yeah, you know it's like mean? a virus, right? It yeah. it would be little thoughts here and there that somebody says that you admire. Yeah, it, it it sticks in your mind, and it's like that's not exactly what the Bible says, but it makes me feel good. Yeah, exactly. It feeds the flesh. Yeah. It makes you yeah. feel more superior, and that's what people are looking for in all these different dispensations and and worldviews. It's like they're looking for a way where they feel superior, where they feel like. I am the person. I am this. I'm yeah. the one that should be acknowledged I am. and valued. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to be the I am. Yeah, and I, and I think also, too, I think for certain people is that you learn of that in as you as in the hip hop culture of like learning going from just a person that's making music to a person getting worshipped. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then also <laughs> to the part when they was talking about um I forgot what scripture it is, and I believe it's in Psalm, and I think Charlemagne used this before, why he called himself the guy, he's like, because you look yeah, like yeah, God yeah. and all like that. But down below, and shout out to Koy Red, because I remember him saying this in a rap, he's like, you would die like men. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think there's some confusion over the whole God thing. The word God means spiritual being. Mm-hmm. You are a spiritual being, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But you are not God God of all gods, king of kings, yeah. lord of lords, the creator of all things. Yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Hypostatic, so, hypostatic he, union aspect of Jesus where he was all God, but he was all man. Exactly. You can relate to the man aspects of following the father and following the spirit, yeah. but you can never relate to the God aspect. And that's the reason yeah. why he came as a man because we couldn't relate to You him. are not the creator of anything. Yo. He created you. Yeah. The Bible say I got Second Timothy 3 and 5. Okay. I introduced, I introduced the Bible. There you go. <laughs> not, not the paper one. <laughs> uh, what does it mean to have a form of godliness but deny its power? Mm. And it's like it's like you know, the Bible does talk about us being lowercase g's. Yeah. So a form that to me I would e- equate that to a form of godliness. Yeah. Not to say we're gods, but having the form of godliness being that we're created from Him. Yeah. He some of Him is in us. You know what I'm saying? But to deny the power, mm. to deny the being of Jesus, to deny you know what I'm saying who God is. Yeah. yeah. And it's like that's what we do. Yeah, we yeah. want all the God parts, but we don't want none of yeah the 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 power of it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We don't want none of the Jesus. And we don't want we want to attribute it to other things. Right. And, may, and maybe that's why we well we are in a place where we are as a culture is because people believe in that and they're believing <laughs> like New Age philosophies of like yeah like like their their philosophy has always been that. I remember seeing stuff back in the 80s of a famous a famous actress talking about it and she was like we're gods we're this we're that and yeah. it's 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 been here it's just now that our culture and people in our culture is using that theology to indoctrinate people and more yeah. more and more, more people it's just like that confusion yeah it's just confusion i i hope hopefully today we're going to talk about a lot of things like Jeremiah said that deal with spiritual Concepts, and I think there's a lot of confusion over what those mean, and those confusions yeah. are easy bait for people to come in and, and snatch, yeah. Yeah. snatch you because yeah. your confusion over what it meant when he said you're a god. Yeah. The confusion over like who Jesus really is. Yeah. The confusion yeah. over uh, what spiritual beings are and, and what angels are and things like that. Yeah. People will use your confusion and say, "Oh, it's this." Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Here's the deal. At the end of the day, if you believe in Jesus, if you say you do, look at what he said. If he didn't say it, then it's not true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all this other nonsense that you hear, check it against him. Yeah. Did he say it? Yeah. Right. Did he say it was cool? Yeah. Because you can't say you believe in him and then believe something that the opposite of what he said. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you gotta always check bring yeah. all this nonsense back to him. Is this is this true, Jesus? Is 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 this what he said in yeah. his word? Remember, he he is the word of God, the entire yeah. thing. Yeah. So is it in here? Is are you do you yeah. agree with this? And if it's no, then it's yeah. no. And Christians gotta test. The word of God says test it. Yeah. Test everything. Um I mean, even when they talked about even when the um Marines. I think it was like 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 Paul, I think it was Paul, I can't remember With the Bereans, was talking about was yeah. talking about um yeah, being a Berean, but yeah. also talking about like if an angel come to you and it says something that's contradicted to the word, it's mm-hmm. not of God. Yeah, scripture. Yeah. You know, yeah. scripture, the yeah, scripture is the final authority. Yeah. So the problem is people gotta read their Bibles. That's the problem right there. People yeah. don't you gotta get in your word. Like even if it feels and I'll say this all the time, even if it feels like I don't understand, I don't find a version that will help you so that you can get in the Bible because if you it's easy to deceive people if you're not in your word because you can look at something and be like um, oh man that's that 
because I know in the Bible it says this, this, and that. But if you're not in your Bible and you're looking at something, you're going to be like, oh, that's God too. Yeah. You know what I mean? We in the excerpt and the sound clip uh, generation yeah. where people will grab a little piece of something yeah. and they'll run with it. Like the, like the ver- one verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. They don't understand what Paul said. I learned that I can be content with the little or a lot. They yeah. skip all that. It just, yeah. I can do anything because Christ said I could. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? People don't, they don't grab the whole picture. They, just, yeah. they isogee. That's a big word. Yeah, isogee. <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to exegete, you know. So. Yeah, so trap theology, son. Yeah, yeah. This, this is really good because I, I think a lot of people they they're having trouble with some of these concepts, and that's why God says put on armor. Yeah. You can say that for no reason. It's because arrows are coming. Like you're getting yeah. attacked, right? Yeah. right? And a lot of us getting picked off by these concepts. I've I've heard so many people say, "Oh, you know, I'm questioning God now because I saw this YouTube video. I question God now because yeah. I'm like, what? TikTok. You didn't bring that YouTube video to the Bible and check with it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you just gonna believe this random dude yeah. in his basement that put up a video with no with a image candle behind him. with 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 some <laughs> some Getty image photos behind him? That's what you gonna let that yeah. destroy? your relationship with God yeah. without checking with him first yeah that's crazy and, and I think and I think that's the sad part about the whole YouTube phenomenon of you know you know even the internet it's just like people will share stuff so quick that you'll be like you believe that and and I remember I remember um what was that um what was that what was that documentary that everybody was like going crazy about and they had something where they talked about Jesus in it. They talked about food. What was that? Who was that documentary? There's been so many, man. Yeah, like, no, a lot of- but it, but it was one that we did. We talked about it. Yeah. But then the pastor, he because it, it was one where they talked about Jesus wasn't who he was, and they compared him to Osiris. And yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. I know what you're yeah, yeah. About. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It was like something back in like the 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 2010s. I early see 2010s. it in my head. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, yeah. well, every whatever that was, I remember watching it. And was like, oh snap, maybe Jesus. And then I was like, and then I had to talk to somebody and it was like when I read the the pastor's what's the name and it re- it had challenged me to be like okay you got to do better as a believer yeah. you can't yeah. you can't just go, your <coughs> grandmother my mother's faith is my faith too but I have to have a personal relationship and the only way that you can you can be spirit led but you got to be in your bible at this time mm-hmm. especially right now well, here's the thing and you got to be so much in your bible that you're not afraid to hear about other people's yeah. things right yeah. my dad didn't just yeah. teach me about my faith yeah he also taught me about their faith so they couldn't confuse me with nothing yeah Apologetic. yeah Apologetic. i yeah. know about everybody else's faith too yeah. yep. so they can't throw something at me like oh did you know that this the flood is like this this myth that was you know yeah. the, the young Adria, Adreus or whatever it's called yeah. and th- there's flood myths all over the world okay so what so what if the flood actually happened of course they're gonna have stories all over the world yeah. about a flood <laughs> why is that letting you make me not believe in god yeah. That's that's real. Real. Yeah. so it's just like there's all these things that are trying yeah. to pick you off you gotta you gotta be solid man yeah. and and hearing about something you've never heard of should not get you to lose your faith yeah it right. should get you to go back and dig in deeper yeah Yep. You should yeah. nothing that's you real. hear ever from this day to the end of your life should throw you yeah. off of your faith. That's how one of my friends was. He was strong in his faith, and you got them guys to be at the bus stop. They jump you every time you about to get on Martin. <laughs> like, yeah. You brother, you don't know who you are. You are. He came back, man. What about With I, said, bro, I said, bro? I said, man. They they yell, they they, they holler at you. They are real confident yeah. in what they're saying, but it's false. You gotta love the Lord with your heart, your soul, and your mind. We yeah. got like a lot of emotion, a lot of heart, a lot of soul, but we leave our mind at the door. We don't really think. We just get pressured in and stuff. Yeah. And that's kind of what Sean is saying. Like, you got to be grounded and be and, solid in what you believe. And even if they, if, and the good thing is, even if they don't, even if they catch you mm-hmm. and they and, and you feel like, man, I don't know, you don't know. That's right. good. That means you need to go study yourself approved. That's yeah. God. Yeah. That's God. But then at the same time, if you've seen God work in your life, mm-hmm. no man should be able to come to you and like you have a personal relationship with the Lord. Yeah. No man should come to you and be like, you know, God is false. I'm like God is false. I seen God work in my mother's life. I seen God work in my life. I seen God. So you gonna let some man that you don't know from the from you just walk on here and he could just say, hey man, you know, you you know Jesus ain't real. I seen Jesus move some mountains in my life. I don't know about you. Yeah. You get what I mean? Peter said we should be able to give an answer for what we believe. Yeah, we should. Saying. Yeah, I want I want to share this story with y'all if I can real yeah, quick. Man. And it's crazy because. God, now that's why I say it's God because God will put those in your face. God will throw yeah. you them, throw you them little tests. You know what I'm saying? And it should make you want to go read your word. I remember the Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness. If you stop and listen to them, boy, it sounds great. Yeah. yeah. If you ever stop and give them the time of day, man, yeah. it sounds amazing. And they killed me one time. They were saying that Jesus is actually Michael, the archangel. Yeah. yeah. 
And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And when you start listening, it's like, oh, dang. And we read the Bible, so it's starting to make sense. But when I when I researched the name Michael, it was who is like God. Yeah. So they presented it like Michael is like God. Yeah, so Michael yeah. is Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When the name is actually a question. Yeah. Who is like God? Yeah. Nobody. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. When it's really giving glory to God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's little stuff like yeah. that. That that was a that was a matter of punctuation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That changed my mind. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like we really gotta reread our words. We really got and like Sean was saying, we gotta know what other people believe. We can't yeah, be so true. stiff. Well, that's true. I don't, I don't even because a lot of Christians say, I don't even want to hear about it. Yeah. And yeah. they'll turn away before even hearing about what the next person yeah. believes, but you need that. Because yeah. actually, it'll verify and strengthen your belief yeah. in, in Jesus. What it shows me, if you don't know what other people believe, that means you're not really witnessing to nobody. Mm-hmm. Because just just talking to people, you'll hear about what they believe. Yeah. Right. You can't be like, nah, 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 yeah. but let me tell yeah. you about Jesus. Right. No, you got to be able do. to, <laughs> let me, let me yeah. listen for what is what is it that's missing? What do yeah. you not understand it? Mm-hmm. Okay, you believe that th- that he did this and this. Okay, but what you, this is what Paul did. Nice. Let me tell you about this unknown guy right yeah. here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He knows he knows what they believe, so now mm-hmm. I, I know the whole. Yeah. I know how to, I know this whole. This, this is what you're yeah. missing. This is what you're missing. Context is key, man. That's that's big, bro. 